here we are in the little town called Andewailias. This is where the Waiki skeleton is located. And we're being given permission to do extraction of some powder in order to do DNA testing of this fascinating specimen. And here we're going to take samples from a specimen. The senior Renato, who's there in the middle, is the custodian. And the specimen is called Waiki, and it's very intriguing. Después damos tiempo para las joyas, ¿ya? Voy a guardar los señores de la tía, hasta que me digas. Sí. Ya, para que estén libres. Si no, este, yo voy a sacar eso que me dice nomás. Sí, ya, ya, ya. Here in Andalusia, and we're at a place, a little museum, Senor Renato's museum. You'll meet him in just a few minutes. Senor Renato is the man who discovered this artifact, which is called Waikiki. And our tour guide in 2013, when the first time we came down here, Brian Forrester showed us this, and we were all just completely blown away. You can see some of this in Watch Your Six. But the reason why we're here again is to revisit this incredibly enigmatic artifact. What is it? And we're here to look at um, some of the morphology of it, the way it's constructed, because we know now that many of the Paracas skulls, the foramen magnum is pushed all the way back to the occipital plate. That being said, we've never seen where the spinal column goes into the skull for Waikiki. We're here to do that, and we're very excited by that. Also looking for maybe other morphological differences that would set Waikiki apart. Is this just a, a genetic anomaly, just something that we can dismiss, it's a freak of nature, a one-off, or is an outside agency somehow manipulating the human gene pool for ends that we're really not sure of? Um, these 
go just a tad lower. But before we do that, can we turn it? I want to take get a shot of this of the spinal column. He might be able to hold it because he, I don't okay. think. Okay. Usted lo mantiene así para que no se pueda. Yeah. La espaldita, ¿ha? Para que le tomen su foto. Oh man. So we're looking uh, at one of the very few artifacts that we've ever seen with the spinal column um, completely intact, and as you can see. It appears to go into the rear of the skull. Um, if, uh, of course, an x-ray is really the only way we're going to be able to, to tell what, what it is we're looking at, and also how many vertebrae, if there are extra vertebrae, where there's too much skin on the area here to really ascertain um, and count the vertebrae. And you can see the spinal column coming up. Here is the occipital plate. Um, it's and because of the skin, which is right here. It's it's very difficult to count how many vertebrae we actually have into the neck. We'll see if we can remove this this piece of skin so we can see what it is we're looking at. Very very fragile artifact. Um, turn it to the side this way. And, and tilt it up. You can see right here, this is a really good shot. Can you zoom in on that? We get a real shot of the vertebra here. It appears that it comes into the, the occipital plate. So it, without an x-ray, I can't be certain. But it seems like it's in the rear of the skull. Once again, genetic. Once again, a characteristic that we find only in the Paraca skulls. Uh, how many ribs? And how many do normal people have? Twelve. I think it's actually she has ten. ten. And normal people have twelve. Here was Senior Renato, who actually was the person who discovered this artifact called Waikiki. Um, and I'm going to ask him some questions. Senior Renato, where did you discover this? How did you discover this? ¿Dónde lo descubrió, Senior Renato, y cómo lo descubrió? En una montaña, acá uh, en la parte de frente a Nahuayi, a Ziguaro, en una montaña que se llama uh, Huiracochán. He found in, Huiraco, in the mountain named Huiracochán, which is between Nahuayi and Ziguaro. Claro, en honor a, a Huiracocha, que es el acelerador del universo. That mountain has the name of uh, Huiracochán, honoring the name of Huiracocha, who is the God creator. Mm -hmm. Yo la encontré en una forma casual. Porque yo hago el inventario de los recursos turísticos de toda esta zona y tenía marcado uh, un sitio cerco, eh, cerca de eso, pero no a la misma tumba, ¿no? He found Waikiki by accident. Así es. Yo uh, tenía sensación, la ganas de ir por ese sitio. To go through that place. A averiguar cómo estaban los vestigios arqueológicos. ¿no? Y me encontré con la tumba ya disturbada. Y en el fondo, más o menos a un dos metros de profundidad, about two meters se veía down, parte del cráneo, la parte de arriba. Deep, he saw part of the of y lo saqué y lo traje acá al museo. So he took out from the, from the area and brought it to here. And Senior Renato was an anthropologist. Usted es un antropólogo, sí. Sí. Antropólogo. Yes. Does he think this is a a genetic anomaly or something? What does he think is going on here? Usted cree que es una, um, una anomalía genética? ¿Qué cosa es guay para usted como antropólogo? 
Bueno, por, la, por los rasgos que yo he visto, eh, es extraterrestre, porque... According to Señor Renato, he's, um, he's an alien. Okay. For all the, the features that he could see, he believes he's an extraterrestre. Y parece que es mujer y que yeah. ha sido engendrada por, un, por un, un individuo de la Tierra, por eso que ha muerto al abortar, que el feto está ahí, ¿no? Uh, he believed was uh, from somebody who was human from the earth and somebody from another place. Does he think that um, the, the, the DNA that was taken from two different teams, a British team and a Russian team, do we know anything about that? Uh, del, uh, los rusos y los ingleses que hicieron los exámenes obtuvieron algún resultado, se lo hicieron saber algún el resultado que tuvieron. Me dijeron que me iba a, a traer la, los resultados, no trajeron, pero me llamaron de Inglaterra uh -huh. y me dijeron que tenemos sus resultados, pero le va de tres mil dólares y me querían cobrar a mí. <laughs> oh Así que no tenía. Well, the English people, the English group that came here and took the sample from here, they called him and told him we had the results, but you have, you have to pay us three thousand dollars for this. So he never got mm -hmm. any results, neither the Russian nor the, the English people. Mm -hmm. So we are going to take a very small sample from the base of the spinal column, and we're going to test that for Senior Renato. And unlike the other two teams, we will give him a full report uh, for his records. Because without Senior Renato, we wouldn't be here, and certainly without Brian or Lenny, the world wouldn't know about this, so we thank them. Yeah, they, <coughs> they call it. Pero tienen ustedes teléfono de ellos? No. Uh, it was discovery from, from England. Discovery he doesn't channel. have the, he doesn't mm -hmm. have the phone. Qué lindo, está como dormida. Sí. It's like a sleeping, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so sweet. Está uno sin esto. Para que me reconozca. Gracias. Gracias a ustedes. No. Ya no me Senior Renato is the legal caretaker of this artifact and therefore we received his permission in order to be able to examine the wifey skeleton and as far as we know that is all required. We did not need to go through the actual Ministry of Culture of Peru to do what this video shows 